news guys I left Riga but my knee still hurt I stayed there uh, four nights and today I'm only doing uh, 50 kilometers but I'm in pain so I don't know what to do when I get to Yargava maybe I should just try to find a place where I could stay four or five days just get the, the inflammation out of my knee or the option is just to push through do short days less than 100 kilometers and go slow I don't know I haven't had this much pain in my body ever since Alaska I think and I started the journey in 2015 I injured my knee it's the same knee actually every now and then it would just hurt a little bit but this time around it hurts like hell when i arrived to my host in riga on a sunday night i couldn't really bend my my leg push through the pain or uh, wait that the inflammation goes away it's, that's my dilemma let's see what i'll decide to do tonight and let's keep going before uh, before it starts pissing rain again winter in northern europe not a nice place to be beginning of the day I was trying to pedal only with the mostly with my left foot so I would just uh, unclip my right foot and just pedal with the left leg but for the last uh, hour I must kept my right foot clipped into the pedal and I'm just trying to pedal slowly without trying to, to force it too much slowly but surely and see if I can pedal through the pain there's been some moments where uh, the pain was really too much so I had to stop for a little bit for the most part I, I can pedal like right now it's very painful but I can embrace the suck. It's really painful when uh, when the knee is up. It's bended the most, and I feel like the knee cap squeezing onto something. <laughs> Whatever it's underneath the knee cap has been uh, has swollen, and uh, that's where the pain comes from. first few drops of rain started already and I think I have another hour before I, I will get to Yagava. I got to Yagava and it stopped raining. Look at this. That's a timid sun and the sky. Another six kilometer I'm done today. I can't cycle so I'm taking various few days off here and there and look at my horse. Crazy, they went into the into the river. The water is below seven degrees and uh, it's fucking fucking cold. It's not raining but it's cold. The wind is very cold. Living in Latvia, very lovely people. Great misfortunes here in Latvia. Great misfortune, especially my knee is in tremendous pain. I'm uh, pedaling with the left leg only, so there's 
time. This is probably the last time we'll see the flag of Latvia waving for a while at least. Goodbye Latvia, thank you so much. Officially in Lithuania. Lietuvos Republika. Country number 50. Good morning, here a little tour of my house. I will show you later the outside house. I left uh, Siauliai yesterday after a week of uh, rest and taking some meds as prescribed by an orthopedic that I met in Africa. An Italian guy, an Italian doctor. And uh, I soon discovered that I should have rested longer because uh, I was still in pain. Uh, not a lot, but uh, I cycle about 50 kilometers and by the time I stopped, um, it was a bit more painful. And during the night it got more and more painful. So today I will try to do another 40, 50 kilometers. And then uh, I think on Monday I can do a little bit more, maybe 60, 70, and get to a big town where I will probably have to find several holes and try to, to stop for, uh, for longer than a week. The bad news is that uh, the regiment of, uh, of drugs that I was using, I was prescribed ibuprofen 600 three times a day. I can no longer take because you you can only take it for five days and then you have to stop. Um, so that's another concern. I'm uh, I'm a bit sad. Um, not sad. I'm a little uh, disappointed depressed i don't know how to say it but it's uh, it's very unfortunate that i have to stop again and the problem is that i i'm not sure i have a place to stay and rest for two weeks uh, that's another concern and uh, in siaulai i was very lucky because i stayed with this uh, this couple that they have three grown-up kids and they had like a a spare bedroom, like three spare bedrooms, and um, and I could stay there, and they were lovely, and uh, they, these ladies, the headmaster of a, of a high school, and I gave a talk in a school as well. Today, I'm in a school, doing a presentation of my adventure. We are going to make the next generation of bike travelers. Clap! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you motivate people. So it was nice. Uh, but now I'm on the unknown. And uh, yeah, I think I just need to deal with it. Uh, that's part of the adventure, I guess. Um, why did I develop this uh, this uh, kneecap inflammation? Is uh, I'm not sure. When I left Tallinn, I messed a little bit with the height of the my saddle because it fell too high. When I changed my my shoes for the winter boots, uh, the winter boots. Um, and I replaced my summer shoes when I was in uh, in, um, in Rovaniemi. I had to put the seat higher because obviously the boots are higher than the, the summer shoes. But I think I put it a little bit too high. But I never changed it. And um, it never, uh, I didn't really have any problems. I felt the seat was a bit too high, but I didn't feel any problem and I cycled uh, almost a thousand kilometers to Tallinn, no problem whatsoever. When I left Tallinn, that I rested three or four, day, four days, I think there. When I left, for some reason, I felt it was really too, uh, 
um, too high. I, I felt like the, the nerves in, in the, the, how do you call it, the, the nerve strings were, were pulling too much in my legs and I lowered it a bit. Uh, so then I cycled that day. The following day, I don't remember where I slept exactly. Oh yeah, the following day was my first day in Latvia and I just camped somewhere and I didn't really have any problems. I think I had a slight sensation of, uh, no, I th don't think I remember I had any problems on, on my knees. And then, so the third day cycling with the, with the new seat height, I got to Riga and the last uh, 20, 30 kilometers were really painful. What did I do different that day was that I put a jacket in my frame bag and it made it a little wider than it used to be. And uh, maybe my my knee was uh, was working at a little angle. I don't know, but uh, maybe that's what created this inflammation. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it is what it is, and uh, it's part of the adventure. I have to deal with it. It's sad that I cannot cycle. It's uh, it's gonna be a little challenge to find a place to stay for a couple of weeks. Maybe I'll need, you know Kaunas is a um, is a fairly big city in uh, in Lithuania, so I might try to stay two three days with one host, two three days with another host, two three days with another host, and something like that. I sent a. Uh, um, there's eight um, warm shower hosts, but um, no positive reply by anyone. So I will send a request on Couchsurfing and I sent a few ones last night. I'm gonna pack my stuff here. I'm organized for the for the night here and uh, and then I'll show you how I slept because it's a, it's a very old house. This is the fabulous place where I, where I pitch my tent. It's an old house. An old lady died here, and it's a bit dirty, but it was dry, nice, and look, to go outside, what do I have to do? We go down this stair, slowly, because my knee is fucked. through the kitchen and then into the living room and here is my bike and then we go out and uh, beautiful Lithuanian weather on the road very, very painful. Maybe it's just my impression, but I think Lithuania much less developed than, uh, than uh, Estonia and Latvia. At least this is uh, my, my impression, only just uh, cycling through a little bit. And uh, I don't even know why I expect uh, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania to be fairly similar. The three Baltic countries, but obviously they're different, three different cultures and so on. But I would have expected to be fairly similar. But I feel Lithuania is a bit less developed. It feels like, uh, I don't know, a little bit more humble compared to the other two, I think. Maybe I'm just wrong. Managing my my pain, my knee pain, and trying to to use the skills I learned uh, via passana meditation 
and uh, and try not to be overwhelmed by the pain. Upgraded. There is a uh, light. There's no running water, but uh, I'm here with this gentleman, and uh, he's the father of Marius, my couch surfing host. It's a guy I contact from couch surfing to stay in a different city, but he told me I could stay with his father in this little village, and uh, this gentleman was uh, serving in, in the in the Russian army, and he was sent to the Afghanistan war. This is the, the stove where we cook and uh, I'll be in the next room. I'm gonna show you the room. Mm, there's some uh, ooh, there's some smoke here, uh, but this is the room where I'll stay. Uh, there is this stove, but I think now there is some uh, problem with ventilation because uh, I can, a, it's a bit smoky this room. So we will probably have to open it at some point, otherwise I'll probably die.